Hey Dear Women told the story of a woman named Alice Augusta Ball, young black woman at 24 years old who solved a 4,000 year old medical diagnosis, but never got the credit for it until now. Okay, so let me paint the picture. Why 1860s, if you have leprosy, you are cut off from society. It was a death sentence. So the only treatment at the time was this oil, things called chalmugra oil. And it was basically useless because if you swallowed it, you vomited. If you put it on the skin, it really didn't do much. Anywho, fast forward several decades later, here comes Alice Ball. She is a prodigy. She's the first Black woman to graduate with a chemistry degree from University of Washington. She became a chemistry um, instructor. And she caught the attention of this doctor named Dr. Harry Holman, remember this name, um, while she was um, studying kava plants. And he was doing some work on uh, figuring out why the oil wasn't working. And so she was like, oh, I know why. This needs to be water soluble. So she started to work on that and people started to get better. Really? Yeah. People started to get better. She was about to publish her findings. And during a routine gas mask uh, demonstration, something that she had been doing many, many times before, um, it malfunctioned. And she oh. inhaled a bunch of toxic chemicals and died weeks later. What? Mm-hmm. I, I know where this goes. And then her department head, Dr. Arthur Dean, conveniently took over everything and published the Dean method. What? And never mm -hmm. gave her credit. And you guessed it. No mention of Alice. But here's the thing. Dr. Harry Holman knew the truth. And he published a paper called The Ball Method. And of course, by this point, no one cared. Because mm -hmm. it was now called The Dean Method. Right? But that's okay. Because in 1999, the University of Hawaii acknowledged Alice Ball's contribution she has saved millions of lives with this medical breakthrough. And I'm so glad that Hey Dear Women put me onto her and now I'm putting y'all onto her and now she will no longer be ignored.